YouTube! Welcome back to my channel! <laughs> and welcome to... I don't know what kind of video. <laughs> Today, I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired. <laughs> I'm working on a junk journal. And, oh my god, let me tell you something. Every evening I clean up. Not like everything, but pretty good. I clean up pretty good. And I keep all of my scraps in this bin. And I feel like... Every evening, I do use the scraps when I craft. I make a journal and I use up a lot. But every day I make much more than I use up. And today I was thinking, that's enough. I really don't want all of that to be there. So I decided to make some collage paper. Because for my junk journal, I also need um, tags. And every time I make a tag, I <laughs> use the scraps to collage first. So this is my... I don't know, motivation, dare, <laughs> share, <laughs> spend time with me, <laughs> project, something like that. So what I'm going to do, because I'm making this for tags, I will get cardstock. Um, I guess you can just get normal copy paper if you want to. And I do have white glue with um, some water. And right now I'm thinking, because my journal is all grunged up, maybe I should, I don't know. I have another coffee here. Look at that. There is coffee. Should I mix it with the coffee? Will it be brown? <laughs> I do not know. Will it make something bad? I don't know. You know what? Since I don't know what's going to happen, I think I'm just going to get this walnut stain spray. Let's do walnut stain spray. I don't know if it's going to do anything at all to this, but I'll put one spritzer first. And then I mix it up and then I see. <laughs> Opa, how about we close it before we mix it? Okay, I prepared everything. I prepared. In case things go bad, <laughs> I can wipe things off. Okay, I don't know if it's going to mix. This is distress spray. So probably this is going to do the oxidation or something. <laughs> I have no clue. Maybe I should have gotten like acrylic paint or something. I don't know. It looks like that. We will just try it out, right? So, I also got myself some brushes. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick all of the things except for the white stripes of paper. Because stripes? Strips, right? Oh my God. Strips, stripes, peak, peak, and something else and something more. <laughs> you know, there are so many English words that I struggle with. You know, my brain thinks it's, it's still the same word. Stripe, strip, <laughs> you know. So... Let me get this brush. And this is one of the Wet n Wild brushes. I do like it, by the way. I really do. Because it's so soft. And I'm just going to, yeah, grab things, you know, out of my box. And if I can, hopefully I can, I will not look into my box. That would be like amazing if I would just grab without looking and stick. If there is something, oh my God, I cannot, you know, stick it on here, then I will do that. But anything else, I will just grab and stick. And I'm grabbing and sticking. I do not care. And I try to overlap a little. That's what I'm going to do. And I try to have a little, like, hangover. <laughs> a little hangover out there. <laughs> Why not? Oh, you know what? Coffee stained little papers are important to me. But everything else is not, really. It shouldn't be. But I have this, like, this was a map or something. Maybe I should also kind of, you know, put them on different, in different directions. Because right now they all go in the same direction here. How about this piece? We will do like that. And you know, later on, if I wanted to, I could put everywhere, like book pages or something just in all of the holes look this is what i i collect everything what's wrong with me and you know what i was about to rip that but i'm not even gonna rip it if we do a collage we do a collage whatever i don't know what's gonna come out of it if i don't like it i will toss it and then i will still you know not have all of these little scraps here they will be gone but at least i tried to make something out of them you know what i mean so i'm gonna do it this way just like that and there is like 
bigger book pages I will try to keep for right now because I'm still not quite done with my journal but everything else let's just overlap do anything and everything yeah and I was asked to do a craft with me so consider this a craft with me because some people do miss my um talkative videos i haven't done any in a while i try to keep my videos down now to like you know 10 to 15 minutes because yeah it's just quicker everything goes quicker if you have a shorter video first of all to make the video is of course less time but second thing is you know if you have anything to do with youtube you will know this <sighs> it takes a long time to upload those long videos and yeah i'm just not in a mood anymore i did it for a long time my channel is like what three years old now right now i'm not in in a mood <laughs> mm, i'm looking and i don't really see this brown in the glue i don't know maybe it's just me okay there is different strips of paper here as well maybe it's just me and i just don't see a lot of those have like straight edges i I'm not a big fan I do not do collages you know like this so I don't know what's gonna come out of that the only things yeah the little ones I was gonna try and make a booklet maybe with those pieces but pieces like this really Arena, you're keeping I'm keeping guys I'm not tossing anything like that it's just a cut off from my journal but hey I can't toss it maybe I'll need it <laughs> I know it's amazing isn't it so I'm just gonna go one by one and look I won't care like is it upside down or is it straight oh my god I should have done it earlier because right now I'm really enjoying this easy peasy thing I'm always thankful for anything, any craft, anything that I can do mindless, I guess would be the right word, where I don't have to think. I'm just such an overthinker and I have so many things in my brain going on that I really need to relax sometimes. And... That's also about the long videos here. If I do that and I talk to the cam, of course I'm thinking something, right? <laughs> so it's harder for me as well because I just want to enjoy some crafts, you know, myself. And it's getting harder to calm my brain. What is this? Oh, that, that was an envelope. Wait, I'm going to use it. I don't care. <laughs> envelope or not everything goes here okay let me just glue it on this part and i wonder once it's dried you know if i will have tags i really want to cut a couple tags out of it and just have this collage stuff on there okay so this one is not going there because you see this one is not going there but I do have all of these little tiny pieces right here. So, I hope you guys are doing good. Should I talk to you about my life again? <laughs> oh, I bought this book. I bought this book. I showed you in my hole. In my, um, what is it? Thrift store hole. And I swear to God, it's so old. This is a little page of it. That if I fold it, it breaks. Can you see the break? I cannot fold it. It falls apart. It's incredible. I believe it was 74, 1974, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. I think it was. So, yeah. Oh, wow. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm getting a tremor here. Tremor? I don't know. My hand starts to shake, and that's not good. Okay, so there is a huge piece of something. Where does this one go? Go right here. Yeah, I just have like leftover papers from everything and anything. Yeah, put tons of glue on top and it's going to be okay. Look what I'm keeping. <laughs> like seriously? Yes, seriously. I don't know. I always think, hey, maybe I need 
exactly this little tiny piece to glue onto something and I let me tell you something the other day not the other day but a little while ago I decided to clean up my room right and I made all of those clean craft room transformation videos with me you know like on my channel and stuff like that and while I was cleaning I found a cut off there were I don't know how many pieces of um coffee dyed paper those were just like strips and I was thinking okay I'm so good I'm making this videos now and I'm gonna have the room clean I have had them for ages I didn't use them and whatever I tossed them and guess what I think a week later when I started making my journal I could really have used them I even went through my whole trash but I tossed them in another bag so they are gone <laughs> and I was upset with myself because they were perfect for what I wanted to do in the booklet <laughs> so how am I supposed to toss anything after this experience tell me tell me I can't of course I can't can't toss anything anymore now I glue it all on top of here and then tomorrow or so I will be looking for a strip of paper that I don't have anymore now that's gonna be amazing <laughs> tomorrow I'm gonna to be oh, why did I glue this right there I need it right now <laughs> yeah I know myself I know myself too good so I can't can't toss anything can do anything don't worry you don't have you don't have to wait until that dries here oh look also I have to put it in another bin I coffee dyed my crepe paper just as a little another little tip for you <laughs> if you were looking for tips <laughs> you can have a tip right here <laughs> coffee dye paper coffee dye crepe paper because I bought so many at Dollar Tree and then I, I didn't know what to do with them no more so I coffee dyed it okay so it seems like a lot of it is going this way right even though I tried to put it back and forth that didn't work. I just want to take off the very wide border, but I'm not going to put it back into the bin. Anything I rip off of this goes into the trash. That's it. No more. If I ripped it off, it's leaving. Okay. Oh, that fits perfectly right on here. Okay. Does it look good already? <laughs> does it? Does it? Nobody is allowed to come into my room. Nobody because they will think I'm crazy doing that. If my family sees that, I mean, they think I'm crazy already, but if they would see me like having all these bins with all these little scraps of paper, <laughs> oh, that would be terrible. No, it wouldn't. I mean, I'm keeping more and more trash from the kitchen. So back, I don't know, a couple months ago, they were not allowed to toss any pizza boxes. Now they are not allowed to toss any boxes. <laughs> you know, they cannot toss cans anymore because I figured, oh, let me show you, I have it in my pocket. I'm starting to collect these now. You know, my daughter drinks Red Bull once in a while and I take them off now because who knows I might need those in my future right <laughs> so I'm collecting those now and there are so many things that I just you know I don't want to have tossed which is probably a little too much okay what else do I have oh there are all the little tiny pieces you know because I'm ending up with white pieces right now here and they're all white Oh, this one is good. I think this one is good. Where do we put this one? I'm just going to rip it a little. It's getting too straight on my piece here. So. Rip it. And I'm just going to glue it somewhere on the spots that do need something more here. And one goes right there on the bottom 
and we do we put another one loose right here very good <laughs> it looks should i say the word ugly i don't know <laughs> but it kind of does doesn't it <laughs> i think it does but I'm hoping that once I cut it into tags and actually make the tags, that it is going to look much better. And of course, you know, the thing is, this is almost just um, pages from a book because that's the most thing I used in my journal. My journal is almost done. So, yay! <laughs> At least something. Okay, anything I rip off has to go in the trash, right? That's the rule here. That's the rule. Okay, almost done. <sighs> what do you do with your strips of paper and your little really tiny scraps? I'm not talking about scraps that you can still i don't know die cut or something but i'm talking about the tiny scraps that are not really usable anywhere else i'm trying to look for some other color paper but i don't see anything i do have this one this one can go on top here another strip i want some to go like in the different direction and then i do have this one I'm going to put this one right there. Cover that hole. <laughs> so the spray that I put in there, it made my glue kind of brownish, but it doesn't really... I don't feel like it makes anything just trashish here. I really don't feel like that. Okay, here on the bottom, we do have a little white spot that we are going to cover up now. What else? I see almost everything here is book pages. So, oh, it's okay. We can do it this way. We can do one page, even though I just said everything I rip off goes in the trash, but maybe it can also go on here. Anything else like little tiny pieces here okay what is this this is a book page as well everything is a book page so i should call this video like book page crafting with book page leftovers this i have no clue where this came from but i can definitely stick it on here cover this little hole up yeah <laughs> very good anything else really tiny oh i find more coffee dye papers here Oh, I have this one. Where you go, is there anything else that needs to be covered up and this kind of bigger? This, this, let's do this. Oh, no, it's gonna hang from the side. And there is another strip. I wanna put it on here. For some reason, even though this part does not need to be covered up, there is a white strip. There's another one. Tiny ones. Oh, there. <laughs> Look what I'm keeping. <laughs> Can you imagine that? No, you know how my brain works. I do not want to toss anything. Does anyone see more white spots except for this one? I'm going to find something for this one. Oh, there's a tiny piece. Really tiny piece. Oh, there's, oh, there's a huge spot. Why did nobody say anything? There's a huge spot. Tiny pieces. Really? I should shake my thing. Oh, look, found a really tiny piece right here. I'm gonna put it on there. Oh, that was crepe paper. I should shake my box. Then all of the tiny pieces are gonna come, right? I'm assuming, oh yes. Got all of the teeny tiny pieces here. Okay, is everything covered up here? No, it's not. Okay, another tiny piece. God knows what that was. Where do I put it? Where do I put it? Let's put it on top of this mess. Okay, and there is a tiny piece of... Oh, really? Now it got stuck. It's fine. It's not like we don't have more pieces here. Okay. 
you know, let me know if you enjoyed it like this or if I should next time maybe speed up the process because that's what I would normally do. I'm just actually doing that because I was asked to make a longer video. So I decided I'm going to. I think we have something is missing here, huh? What's missing here? Another book page because that's all we have. We don't have anything else. Do you, he do you see spots? I see spots. I see a spot right here and the spot right there. Okay, we don't see any other spots, do we? Because I'm gonna just, you know, put a, oh, there is a tiny one right on the bottom here. Okay, so I'm just gonna put more glue over the whole situation here. I don't know if that's a good thing to do or not. But I really want all of that stuff to stick. And I don't know if more glue is going to make it better or worse. We will see, right? I mean, I will leave it to dry. I think it's moving. I don't know. I might leave it to dry overnight. I don't want to dry it with my heating tool. I don't want like bubbles and curls and whatever in here so i'm just gonna leave it to dry overnight and then come back tomorrow into my mess and see what happened look doesn't it look pretty already <laughs> okay let's let it dry and i'll see you tomorrow Ta -da! it's the next day magic <laughs> look they did curl i have to put them under um paper pads i think like this so they kind of get straight again, but it doesn't matter because I loved it so much. I made another one after I turned off the cam just because I really like this. So all I have to do is basically to flatten the mud and cut off whatever is the left over here. But I really like how it turned out. It's kind of, you know, on a big sheet, it looks like a little bit of a mess, but seriously, I'm thinking if you cut it in pieces, the ones that you like, let's say this piece, it looks pretty good for a tag, right? And I will definitely, what I will do, I will just take distress ink and go all over this thing. It's not tacky or anything, you know, so that's good. But I do like the distressed look. And right now I'm thinking, and I'm going to try it because it's just a piece of paper. I might even, oh, yeah, sure. Put it on your fingers, Irina, because, you know, <laughs> because <laughs> I might even try and do it with this. Let me try the bigger one. Apparently, I cannot hold the small, ooh, look, it makes it even more dirty. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh, I really do like that. I love, love, love grungy distressed looks. Like seriously, I do. And because those are different layers, if I just go over it with my pad here, then, you know, it catches on some of them and it doesn't catch on the other ones. And of course, once I um, make my tags, I'm gonna be distressing it more. But look, this is, this is pretty already. But if I put some, off on it it's even more pretty <laughs> for some of us right <laughs> some of us are probably thinking like oh my god what is this <laughs> but the others you know like me <laughs> they think oh that's adorable look i'm really i'm really digging this one i am this one i like i like you know i'm thinking you know cut off a piece and then put your um whatever it is that you want to use as a center you know what is supposed to catch the eye put it somewhere there oh look i straightened it out loving that so if you have and i do i reduced i reduced a lot of the tiny ones you know i kept the bigger ones like this this i can either make more of course or those i can still use in my journal you know like a bigger piece you can cut a tag out of it or something and the white ones i kept but all of the tiny ones or most of them are gone and i'm really really 
excited about that because I really, now I said the word really three times, <laughs> but I really dig this. It's like, oh, I can see, especially right now, I, I, I just want to make a tag out of this portion because I love this portion, but I cannot make one right now now because I need to figure out what I need in my journal. My journal, oh guys, my journal is almost done. I just have to stop putting more stuff in there, but I need to figure out. This is the second signature I showed you and it was empty and it's not empty anymore. I put so much stuff in there and I just have to stop, but I still did not do all of it <laughs> you see that there is still more left and this portion i wanted to have like um a tag or something i'm not sure so let me see if there is anything where i would like oh yeah this one i will make another video about what's all in this because it's amazing i'm wondering this one needs a tag see i just stuck a tag in there to um Remind me <laughs> that it needs a tag because I do so many, so many things and then I forget half of it. Come on. Oh my God, this is just amazing here. I love both of them, but I really, I think I have to flatten it out first. But then I'm going to make a tag for my junk journal and it's going to be probably that long. So I will have a skinny tag here as well. You know, I don't want to waste it. Of course not. But I can also make the all the tiny tags that I showed you. I have a couple left. I showed you in my video. If I find it and don't forget it, I will put a card up there. So, you know, I can make whatever. I can make long tags. I can make shorter tags. But this portion right now, it really uh, makes me think that I really, really want it. I don't know if you can see what I see. But I see this portion. And let me cover this part up as well. I see this portion as a pretty, pretty background for my next tag. <laughs> do you see it? <laughs> do you not? <laughs> I don't know, but I do see it. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. And sometime my book is going to be ready and, you know, done. And uh, hopefully, did I want to show you anything? Oh, yeah. I wanted to show you how I used those. I just stuck them on my journal on the side, you know. So I used, I believe, only one of those. <laughs> and I've definitely used up this little thing that I showed you in my video. I didn't know where to put. And I put it here as well. I don't know. This one I will probably put some, somewhere up so they are not both on the same spot. But um, that's how I used them. And I believe somewhere else, I think here. I don't know if I showed you or I didn't. But um, I used them on here as well. So they're just hanging there, the little tiny tags that I showed you that I was making. And I love it! <laughs> things that hang, things that are grungy and vintage and dirty and, you know, let me say faux vintage because, you know, some people get upset <laughs> when you call something vintage and it's not. To me, this is vintage <laughs> because it's a vintage style, right? So I don't know. However, still working on it, still working on it. I had somebody ask me already if they can buy it. <laughs> I, um, you know, I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know yet anything, actually. I don't know if it's going to be done anytime soon because I keep adding. I keep adding and it's amazingly bad. <laughs> it's, it's so bad. It's probably not going to fit in my cover. However, this is not the point here. This was the point here to, you know, use up some scraps and I did. Yay for me. Big yay for me because now I know what to do with all this mess. So I'm just going to make papers like this because no matter what style of a journal or, um, okay, I cannot say no matter what style, I think. Because you cannot use it if you are like a clean person and like everything straight and stuff. But other than that, you know, for me, no matter what kind of tag I want to make, I can always use papers like this. And I think they are amazing. So every time I have a lot of scraps, I'm going to go ahead and just do that. So, you know, and if I put them away and use them when I need them, it's cool as well. I wonder how thick it's going to be if I put it on a normal paper, but I don't think it's going to be very thick because this didn't get much thicker than it was before, but it did get um, more firm, of course. So how do you call it? Not firm. How do you call it? I forget. However, but it's not much more 
So I don't know. Oh, I wonder. Maybe I should make some and put in my Etsy store. <laughs> because I have been updating my Etsy store now and I have been thinking, what can I do, you know, or make um, for sale? So I don't know. I don't know about that. This is just for me for fun and for me to use. So, okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this. And whoever asked me to make a longer video, there you go. <laughs> you are very welcome. I do like the longer videos, but it's just, you know, it's a pain to do everything. And um, no matter what, it's not very popular on YouTube, you know. It's not like um, it's there's popularity for longer videos. I don't think so, at least. However, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe. As always, leave me a comment down below. I really, really love them. Even if it's just a smiley, I'm always smiling when I'm seeing that. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.